What if I told you there's a voice AI system that's faster, smarter, and cheaper than anything you've used before? Say hello to Ultravox, an open weight voice AI system that's revolutionizing real-time conversations. In this video, I'll briefly compare Ultravox with Retail and Vapi, and then I'll walk you through creating your first Ultravox AI voice agent. If you're new here, I'm Mark Tomlett, founder of Smiling, where we help businesses streamline communication and save money. If you're a business looking for voice AI solutions, feel free to reach out. And I also run one of the largest communities for people interested in learning how to make money with voice AI. If that's you, be sure to join the community below. With that, let's dive right into this video. Now I'll start with the receptions that I spun up very quickly with Ultravox that I could demo for any solar company. Here it goes. Thank you for calling Solar XYZ. My name is Faith, and I'll be happy to assist you how are you doing today? And hey. may I start by getting- My, so I'm Welcome. doing well. My name is Mark. Uh, just wondering what you guys offer and where you're based out of. Nice to meet you, Mark. We're glad to have you call in. Solar XYZ is a leading provider of renewable energy solutions, specializing in solar panel installations and energy efficient systems. Tell me a little bit of how much a standard solar panel would cost me. The cost of a standard solar panel system can vary depending on several factors, including the size of your home, your energy usage, and the specific equipment you choose. However, on average, a typical residential solar panel system can range from $15,000 to $30,000 or more. All more right, all right, that's great. Our... Look, man, I gotta go, okay? Sounds good, though. Thank you. You're welcome, Mark. It was nice speaking with you. Let's take a quick look at how voice AI systems typically work and why Ultravox is such a game changer. First, most voice AI systems are like this. Vapi and Retail, they rely on what we call a pipeline approach. So imagine this, you speak into your phone and the system starts breaking your voice into pieces, right? So there's first the speech to text, and then there's the LLM, which processes the meaning of the words and determines the response. From there, it sends it over to the text-to-speech, and that can be anything from Eleven Labs to PlayHT or something like that, that actually converts that text into the audible sound of those words. Now, this method works, but it's kind of like a Rude Goldberg machine. It's effective, but full of extra steps, and those steps add latency and cost. Vapi and Retail are amazing at what they do, but they have to juggle a lot of moving parts to actually make things happen. But now let's look at what Ultravox does. And remember, speech to text, text to speech, Ultravox, ready? None of that. Instead of juggling three separate system, Ultravox skips the speech to text and the TTS altogether and it just processes the direct voice. This is incredible, okay? Think about that for a second. And the way that this works is, Ultravox is actually processing the literal speech embeddings of the words okay so and these embeddings are like multi-dimensional numerical representations of audio signals that retain paralinguistic information such as tone pitch context and emotion so what does that mean for you well basically that's a complex way of saying that the ultravox system can actually pick up on the nuance that is human speech when i'm speaking you're not just hearing the exact words that i'm saying you're hearing the way that i'm saying these words the intonation behind them and the other paralinguistic symbols such as maybe the background noise that's all associated with my communication that is human communication 101 and that's what makes ultravox so special so it's built exactly like real-time api but without all of the extra fat so while real-time api is built to do everything including singing happy birthday hey to you happy birthday dear joel horton happy birthday to jordan blah, 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 blah. ultravox is a little bit different because it's built specifically for phone conversations and that delivers the same quality as real-time api but at a fraction of the cost. As you can see here, VAPI is about 12 cent, 20 cents per minute. This is an average of my calls. And then the real time API, 50 cents per minute, with Ultravox coming in at a total of 5 cents per minute for everything, which is absolutely unheard of. Now, not everything can be sunshine and rainbows, and Ultravox isn't really an exception. Ultravox out of the box isn't technically able to do everything that retail and VAPI can do in terms of its dashboard, right? Unlike retail, you actually need to roll up your slaves and kind of write some custom code to get it to work. But, 
there's good news. Ultravox is actively developing a dashboard that will make it accessible to non-developers in the near future. Now, that being said, with a little bit of effort, you'd be surprised you can create some seriously impressive demos that are perfect for wowing and impressing your clients. Now that you know how it works and what really makes it special, let me show you now how to actually build your first Ultravox agent, even if you're not a developer. All right, this is how you set up your Ultravox agent as simple and effective as possible. And trust me, if you're a non-programmer, don't worry at all because I've already done the heavy lifting for you. And all you have to do is copy and paste the code that I'm taking directly here from Ultravox.ai. So let's go over to the quick start guide. You can follow along with me and we're gonna copy and paste this code directly into our programming platform. So the four things that you're gonna need are Ngrok, Ultravox, obviously Twilio, and then a programming platform such as Visual Studio Code, which works great. So we're gonna take Visual Studio Code, open it up, make a new folder, and we're gonna create a new file. We're just gonna call it server.js. And then we're gonna come back here and just follow this guide to a T. So you have this make directory Ultravox incoming calls, copy and paste that. You have your terminal and paste that right in here. Okay, now we've made a new folder. We're gonna change directory CD into that folder and then we're going to npm init y. Beautiful. So now we've made that. And then we're gonna install some dependencies. First, Twilio. I'm just copy and pasting here. And as that's installing, we're going to go back over here and then we're gonna copy and paste all of this code. And we're gonna paste this code directly into this text. Now, this may look daunting. Again, all you're changing is one or two things max and that is your API key, which you're gonna put in right here. And then of course you're gonna change the system prompt. So if you're demoing this to a client, this is where you'd modify the code. Now I'm not gonna get into the two in-depth granular details of this, but I'm just gonna show you how exactly you'd modify this. So let's say you wanna change the name to Faith. And let's say you are receiving a phone call. You are a receptionist for a solar XYZ. And then you'd fill in some FAQ questions directly right into here so that it would work. The other things you could change are of course the temperature. I'm gonna leave that as default, I find it works great. And then of course the voice, we'll modify that later. I have a really great voice that I'm using right now. Now let's go back here and make sure everything was installed. <clears throat> you can see Twilio was installed correctly. Somehow for me, the code that came directly from Ultravox wasn't working, so I just had to replace it from, and this might be the case for you as well. I just replaced this import package with const express Twilio, and that worked fine. Safe, put that right there, and then npm install express right there like so. What we'll do is go right over to Ultravox, and if this is your first time making an account with Ultravox, you will go to ultravox.ai, hit get started, you get about 30 minutes free, which is fantastic. You can see I have seven minutes left. And you'll go over to the settings sections. I'm not gonna press it, but you're gonna grab your API key right there, and then you're gonna take it over and paste it, right, like I said before. Next thing you can do is go over to the playground and just test the different voices, whichever one resonates with you the best. I happen to really like the Dakota Flash one that just came out, so I'll modify it and paste it right here, actually. Just copy and write that in. And now it's gonna be using that voice when we test it out. The next thing we're gonna do is go over to Ngrok, and you can see it's completely free to make an account. You're just gonna hit sign up. I've already made an account with them, so I'll log into my dashboard. And all you're gonna do is do two things to install it. You're gonna type in brew install ngrok just like I did if I'm on a Mac OS. And then there's another one you'll do, but I'm not gonna show it because it's a private code and that'll just activate your account. And then you'll take that information and that is the key that will make our server publicly accessible. So that's very important for Twilio. Now that we have everything configured, what we'll do is just simply go ahead and start the server. So it's simply typing in node server.js, make sure that the server.js file is in fact in the other files folder here and then we'll hit node server.js. And you can see good news, server is running on port 3000. So there's just one problem. We're not able to get the Twilio account connected to our local server. We need the server to become publicly accessible. And that's exactly where Ngrok comes in. It's worth mentioning that if you're using a free Ngrok account, you're only gonna be able to use that URL temporarily. And every single time the server restarts, it will be rendered incapable of usage. So you have to go in fact and upgrade your account if you wanna have that static URL, or you can do like me right now, just so you can see what it's like and take the URL that Ngrok gives you and paste it into Twilio every single time you restart the server. First, what you'll do is you'll go over to Twilio and if you haven't made an account yet, you just simply make an account, you go over and buy a new number, just like I've already done. And this is a test number I have. And then you'd go over to the configure tab and you can see 
there's this URL section, make sure the HTTP is configured to post. And then you're just going to replace this URL with what ngrok spits out. So we're going to go back over here, make sure that the server is in fact running. This is very important. You want to make sure this is done in this order or you'll have issues, especially if you're using the free account. So if you go first over here, make a new terminal window and take this ngrok HTTP 3000, type it in as the server is running. Now it's worth mentioning if you look, this guide would have you type this in before the server is running, but if you're using a free account, then by the time the server is running, it will be using a new URL and you'll have an old URL. So you want to make sure that you go in here, hit ngrok HTTP 3000 as the server is running and you can see you can see the servers running port 3000 and we're going to take this url copy and paste the entire thing make sure we get it all and then we're going to paste that over here into twilio and you want to make sure that you put in slash incoming that's very important so that it directs the traffic that's coming into the url i'm going to make an international phone call here since i'm in another country but it will still go ahead and work the latency might be a little longer though Hello, thank you for calling Solar XYZ. My name is Faith, and I'll be happy to assist you. Could you please tell me your name and how I can help you today? Yeah, my name how is Mark, doing? and I'm just wondering what you guys offer. Nice to meet you, Mark. We're a solar energy company, and we offer a range of services and products to help homeowners and businesses reduce their okay. energy costs. And okay, can you just can you just tell me like what the cost of a standard solar panel is off a ballpark range? The cost of a standard solar panel system can vary depending on the size of the system and the specific equipment used. But on average, a standard residential solar panel system can range from around $15,000 to $30,000. Oh more my goodness, that's any- so much money, dude. How, who can afford that, bro? I completely understand, Mark. It can seem like a significant upfront investment. No, dude, However, that's like, that's more than my house, bro. I understand. What? And I think there might be some misunderstanding, Mark. The cost I mentioned earlier is for a typical residential solar panel system, not not the entire house. But I do want to let you know that we offer financing options and incentives that can help make solar energy more affordable for our customers. Would you like me to explain more about those options? No, goodbye. Wow, the latency on that is unbelievable. Now, as you can see, this is a very simple demo, but it gets the point across, especially if you're just trying to make a little vaporware to impress a client. You can put in some information from their website and boom, just like that, you have a very, very powerful and potent presentation that you can show. And honestly, some of the lowest latency that I have ever seen in this voice AI space. And obviously, if you're planning on building this out for a real enterprise solution, it's gonna need to be a lot more robust. But as of right now, you can see the power in this code and what you can build. And even if you're one of the people who actually likes building ages directly from the code, you can see the incredible customizability that a system like Ultravox offers. And that's it. You've just learned how to build your very first agent using Ultravox AI and learned all about how it stacks up against the current competition. If you found this video helpful at all, please feel free to smash that like button and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And by the way, thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. It's been absolutely amazing to go on this journey with you all. Also, if you're interested in making money with voice AI, like I said, feel free to join my community below. You won't regret it. You'll find an amazing group of like-minded individuals who are crushing it right now, selling these AI voice agents. That's all for today. Please Please have an amazing rest of your week. Tectomic, where AI finds its voice. Come for the tech, stay for the transformation.